Hi Spartans! I hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. Today we're going to start our soccer unit and we're going to practice passing and trapping. Now if you have a partner at home, please find a partner, mom, dad, brother, sister. It's a lot easier to practice passing with your partner. If not though, you can practice passing against a wall like I am or you can set up some empty water bottles or put some cones out and practice kicking and knocking those down. All right, I trust everyone is warmed up and stretched, so let's get started. Now, the biggest rule that we're gonna have to remember in soccer is that we cannot use our hands, all right? We can only use our feet. Now, if you're a goalie, you can use your hands, but we'll go over being a goalie uh, later in the, in the unit. Uh, but today, we are not using our hands, we are only using our feet, and we'll be using only our feet for most of our soccer units, okay? So we're gonna practice passing to start with, and passing and kicking a stationary ball, so the ball will not be moving right now. Remember, when you kick, I want you to kick using the inside of your foot, okay? You have better control, better accuracy when you're kicking that way, as opposed to kicking with your toe like that. Uh, then the ball can go anywhere. So let's have good accuracy and kick using the inside of our foot. And we want to kick the middle of the ball, okay? You don't want to kick it too low, you don't want to kick it too high, right in the middle. And what you're gonna do is take a step back. So you're about a step behind. You're gonna step forward with your non-kicking foot. It's gonna be pointing towards where you want the ball to go. Put your foot back and kick. All right, my friends. So let's show you one more time. You're gonna step back, big step forward and kick. Remember, kicking with the inside of your foot. Now you can kick and knock down the bottles, just like I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Let's practice that one more time. Ready, take a step back and kick. Now, that's gonna get pretty easy for you guys really quickly. So what we can do next is stand farther back and you're gonna run up, kick the ball. Remember, you're gonna want your foot to be next to or slightly behind the soccer ball, your toe pointing to where you want the ball to go and kick using the inside of your foot. So let's practice that. Run forward and kick. One more time. Forward and kick. All right, my friends, why don't you pause the video and practice passing against the wall or pass to your partner. Ready, set, go. Great job passing, my friends. You guys did awesome. This time we're gonna practice kicking a rolling ball or a moving ball, okay? So if you have a partner, they're gonna pass it back to you or they can roll it back to you and you're gonna practice kicking. Again, you're gonna take a big step forward as the ball gets close to your non-kicking foot. You want your toe pointed where the ball is gonna go. Kick using the inside of your foot. If you don't have a partner, you can pass it against the wall and the ball is gonna be rolling back to you and you're gonna kick it again without stopping it. All right, just like this. The ball rolling up and kick. The ball rolling and kick. And kick. All right, my friends, so you don't want the ball to stop rolling. See how many times you can kick it without having to stop the ball. Ready, set, go. Great job kicking a rolled ball, my friends. All right, last, we're gonna practice trapping. And what trapping is, is you're gonna stop the ball close to your body so you can kick it again, all right? Now there are two ways to trap. The easiest way is just putting your foot out, stepping on the ball with the, using the bottom of your foot, the bottom of your shoe, and stopping it right in front of you. Or you can also use the inside of your foot and 
kind of softly catch it with your foot and cradle it back. Either way, you don't want to um, stop or trap the ball too hard because you want to keep it close to you, okay? So, again, if you have a partner, you can pass it to them, they can pass it back to you, and you're going to stop it before you pass it back to them. If not, you can practice against the wall, just like I am. You're going to step forward, kick, and stop. All right, then kick again, and stop. One more time. Kick. Uh-oh. Kick and it went behind my back. But the ball would roll back and I'd stop it using the top of my, or the bottom of my foot, stopping it on top of the ball. All right, friends. Why don't you guys pause the video and practice trapping for five minutes. Ready, set, and go. Great job, my friends. You guys did awesome to start our soccer unit. Great job kicking a stationary ball, kicking a moving ball, and trapping. You guys are awesome. Remember to check Canvas and Google Classroom for all your schoolwork. And uh, if you haven't, remind your parents to go out and vote, or parents, if you're watching this, if you haven't, go out and vote. I look forward to seeing you guys all tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you then. Bye, everyone.